Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another video. I'm back. I was sick and had no voice. Therefore, I had to do my last video uh, with music, which I realized made some of you want to gouge your eardrums out. Did the same for me, but it is what it is. I thought it would be rude to just have silence in the background. So I know some of you didn't like it. Some of you loved it. It is what it is, right? So today, my mouth is back and running. <laughs> And we're going to do a swipe. So I think some people are confused out there. I'm getting a lot of questions on regular, um, like, strainer pour videos or uh, dirty pour videos. I think people are a little confused with recipes and thinking that the recipe that is used for blooms is being used for everything now. And that's not the case. So... If I use that bloom recipe, I will put that in the title somewhere. Other than that, though, if, if you watched a video, I know I always say what my paints are mixed with. So mixing your paint with Floetrol and paint and water is not a bloom recipe. Like I got people asking me on um, the strainer pour I did, for example, where I said all my paints are mixed with Floetrol. I did the pour. And then somebody asked me, okay, well, what about the cell activator? Did that have wood conditioner in it? First of all, I do not use wood conditioner for even bloom recipe, but everything is in the video of what I use. Just let's put it that way. If I only say full trial and paint, that's all that's in there. So wood conditioner, uh, the term cell activator in itself, signals a bloom recipe uh, pour. And that's not what we are all using. That's only for that one technique. Now, today, there, actually I lied, you can do all the techniques with it. Today I am saying I am using the bloom recipe. My paints are mixed with three parts, Vivid Enamel. Now the label looks different. It's got a new label to it, but it still says Vivid Gloss Enamel. Okay, so I'm using three parts of this mixed with one part of this. But you can do what I'm about to do using just paint and Floetrol. You don't have to use this stuff. It's just that I have it and I want to use it. So... That's what my colors are mixed with. I'm going to show you three primary element colors that I'm using. If you don't know what those are, they are a dry paint system that you can mix with um, what I just showed you. You can mix it with a product called Polypore, and you could also mix them with a regular pouring medium to make your own paint for pouring. So this one here is Autumn Skies, very pretty color. Then I have Iris Petal. It's hard to see on the camera, but the shift. So this has a, looks like a purple, maybe violet shift to it. And then the last one I have is Key Lime. This one's really pretty. If you're interested in getting any of these, the coupon code is listed below. It's sold by Color Art. Now, when I use primary elements, I have always used regular paints with them, not only primary elements, only because I feel personally, it's like pouring with nothing but metallics. There's nowhere for your eye to rest. So for my matte colors, I'm using Permanent Violet. I am also using Phthalo Turquoise and that blue because <laughs> I'm not saying it but 
What I'm doing different for this swipe is I'm going to put down all of these colors except for the violet. The violet is not mixed with what the other colors are. This violet is mixed only with Floetrol. Um, one part Floetrol to... Oh, it's so hard to tell because this is a fluid... This violet is very fluid and the Floetrol is fluid. So what I did was I put some Floetrol in there and I added the color in. So if I had a guess, I would say an, uh, an ounce of Floetrol to maybe a half a teaspoon of this. If I had to guess, it's very hard to guess. And then I have some, uh, golden brand gold. Okay. So again, all of the colors except for the violet are mixed with the enamel and, you can see I've been resining, and the polyacrylic. The violet has been mixed with American Floetrol. This is house paint that you paint your walls with. It has been mixed with nothing. I thinned it out with a little tiny bit of water just to put on my canvas to help the colors glide. So I hope everybody is doing well. And again, I apologize for having to tune everything out until I felt better, but I sounded like I swallowed a frog. I almost just said followed a swag. <laughs> um, so yeah. But you know something, sometimes it's nice not to have to talk to, I mean, I've done probably close to 200 videos now and it's nice to just be able to art and not worry about what you're doing verbally. And I have to admit my art comes out a lot better because I'm concentrating more focused. But I sacrifice this to hopefully help somebody out there enjoy the same thing that I do. That's why I do this. I just felt the need to say that because let me tell you something. I have had a few nasty people on my channel lately and mm, 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 mm. all my viewers that watch me on a somewhat daily basis are going to have their mouths falling to the floor soon because some of these people boy and i know don't let it get to me but it's hard when you know you're sitting here trying to be nice and helpful and somebody says you ruined that that's ugly <laughs> like i i just don't even get why you care why they care i mean but care that strongly to be so rude there's a way to say everything anyway enough of that so i'm just gonna spray this spray it spread it better go back to the music <laughs> out evenly here Alrighty. Now, when doing a swipe, it's very important to do your sides before you go any further because once you do your swipe and you do your little bit of tilting, you're not going to really be able to get in there and fix those. If they come out kind of crappy looking, you could always paint them a solid color afterwards. Once your painting is dry up here, just go back and paint it something. Usually I, I do either white or I uh, pick a color that's in the painting and I match it to that. 
All right, so I'm gonna torch really quick, but only really quick because that is house paint and it's a lot thicker and will burn. Just to get some of the bigger ones, the bigger air bubbles. And again, I wanna repeat, you don't have to do this with this recipe, you can just use Floetrol and water like any other swipe. Okay. And to answer this question, because I think this may come up, you can use the Vivid Enamel mixed with the polycrylic for the colors, and you can use acrylic uh, thinned down with a little bit of water for the bottom. You don't want to use Floetrol in the bottom, though, because then it's going to be an overkill of Floetrol, and you're not going to be able to contain the cells to just where you swipe. It's going to just keep coming up through, okay? So here's my idea. Let's see. I'm going to layer these a certain way, starting with the autumn sky. When I'm swiping the color down, let's say I put this blue down first. This is the unspeakable name blue. Let's say we put that down. That's a, um, an opaque, you can't see through it, color. A primary element is somewhat transparent and you can see through it. So what's gonna happen if I put this down underneath this is when I go to, to uh, swipe, this blue, some of it's gonna go over the top of this primary element. And because this is opaque, you can't see through it, you're not gonna be able to see this as good as you would if you put it right here and swiped it over the top of the opaque color. Okay. Now, yes, I'm going to be putting another opaque right under here and a primary element up on the top. So what I'll do here is, probably should have went the other way around, but that's okay. I'll do the green, the phthalo green next. Funny the way it's coming out. It's like ribbon. It's weird. Okay. So there's that. Then up at the top here, I'm going to do the kiwi, or I'm sorry, key lime. There is a color called kiwi also. Okay, then I think the only one I have left is the iris petal. So what I'm gonna do is try to sneak this in here. And then to swipe up this way, I'm going to put a little more color. So we're gonna swipe both directions. We're not swiping 
from the top down to the bottom like a normal swipe. So we have to have the same colors going in both directions. And I forgot my gold. What do you know? We'll do that right there. Again, this is Autumn Skies. And then the dark blue, it's like a Prussian blue. Iris petal. Boy, I'm really off with my lines today. You should try to do it so there's not a bunch of white showing in between there. Like I just did. And then I need, you know, I'm going to need some more of this green. Just a little bit more, right, to just to thicken this one up that I had already down. Okay. And then the last one up here is the gold. Woo! <laughs> okay. So now we're going to get the swiping color put on. I just need some gloves now. And some swiping papers. I just save my packaging and cut it as I go. It, that seems to work fine. I like a, a nice stiffer piece of paper. It's more controllable. And unless you can keep cutting pieces of paper like I can, I would suggest putting a paper towel down to wipe off your piece of whatever you're swiping with. Because you don't want to contaminate Just gonna pop these air bubbles quick. Alrighty. So here is my swiping color. So this is the only one that has the flow trowel in it. It's thicker, a little bit thicker. And I'm going to go right down the center where the purple is, or the green. I'm sorry, the green. That's my halfway point. And I'm going to make sure it's wide enough to swipe in both directions. Okay, so here we go. Oh, maybe I should take this glove off. They always tend to drag in the paint. So I'm going to grab that purple. I'm going to lay this right in the center of that purple. Like so. I 
and pull. Just like so. It's very pretty. Forgive me if I get quiet. Oh boy, hair. It's one of mine. <laughs> That's got to go. That has to go. Something like that can ruin a whole painting. Okay. Make sure the edge of your paper is nice and straight. Straight as possible. <laughs> it's always so hard like I feel like I'm gonna fall over when I'm doing this put it that way now look at this would you look at that hate when that happens Okay. And that one I didn't grab any of this the swiping color. So you see, not getting any cells there. So I'm gonna have to try to do it again and hope I don't muck it up. Yeah. All right, here we go. There we go. Okay. I really, really hate when that happens. All right, so now I got to turn it around. To face me okay just pause you there for a second now here we go second side second verse same as the first There's some really, really, really pretty colors popping up here. I like swiping with different colors. Something different besides just the, the average 
white or black makes it more interesting. Okay. Somehow within two minutes, I've lost my scissors. <laughs> so, wow, that one's gorgeous. Gorgeous. I don't know what that white streak is, but okay. Yes. A canvas uh, paper. I save it all. And actually the longer or the wider bigger the paper is, the easier it is to control it. Nope. Oh, that was bad. Losing contact there. Why? I can tell you why. Because the paper is um, warped. The corner is curled in. So I have to do that again. Well, let's come back to that one. Okay. We have swiped the entire canvas somewhat, except for this one spot here that I now have to fix somehow. And these other crazy areas. So I'm going to cut a piece to fit right through here. Let's see if I can fix that. Hopefully it'll work. Not there will have to be some tilting going on. It's coming, it's getting there. <laughs> I'm really not liking this white here, but I may tilt. Wow, these are just so beautiful. Let me show you these cells really quick before I start t tilting. That is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I wish that ring light would stay out of my business. So now, what do we do? Thinking, thinking we have to tell... Oh, God. I just don't want to ruin this. It's so pretty. But. Mm. 
I can't leave it the way it is. So this right here is, I guess that, I don't know if I should do something with this here. Maybe I should just try to tilt it and see what it looks like. Just a little bit. Okay, so the first way I want to go is that way. Nice and slow. I think I'm just going to leave it like this because it is absolutely gorgeous. And you know what? It's okay. It makes it more interesting to have a couple of wonky areas, if you ask me. I was just trying to close up that center area a little bit. Okay. The only thing that I'm not fond of is the white spots, but because they are everywhere, they blend in. So it is what it is. I'm not gonna stretch it anymore because I don't want to, as I stretch it. <laughs> I just want, was trying to get it back to where it was. I, uh, yeah, you get what I'm saying. All right, and we're going to stop right there, I think.
Yeah, I think we're going to stop right there. The only reason I'm double guessing myself is because I know I can get this area right here to open up beautifully, but at what cost? I mean, this this area on the uh, bottom of the canvas closest to you here is just all blue. I mean, I technically could stretch it off, but do I really want to do that? Um, I think I'm going to leave it. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. So there you have it, my friends. If you're looking for a Facebook group to join, I have one called United We Pour. With Tammy and Lisa, the link is in the description. You can share pictures of your swipes and your paintings. Um, coupon code for primary elements is in there. Also, those are sold by Color Art. And uh, make sure you click like if you like the video. And at the end of the video, another video always pops up, but more importantly, my Etsy store, which I am stocking every day, more and more paintings, some you've never seen in there. So go on over and check that out. And I love you all. I hope you have a great night and happy pouring.